The hardest part of becoming orgasmic is making time to touch your body just because it feels good. It's the biggest block to pleasure. Yes, I agree. Um, it, it, I so many people don't set aside time. I mean, we set aside time for other skills we want to master, right? If we want to learn how to play a musical instrument, we set aside time to practice. If we want to do a sport, we set aside time. If we want to take dance lessons, we set aside time for practice. But we don't do that for pleasure. We hit resistance because we've been conditioned that our body is not our own. Our body exists for someone else's pleasure. So that's that resistance we hit when we're by ourselves and we're touching ourselves and two, three minutes in without fail, a client will say, you know, I think this is taking a long time. And I look at the clock and I say, we've been going two minutes, right? You know, two minutes of a movie isn't very compelling. Two minutes, mm -hmm. you know, two pages of a book is very compelling. So it's hard. Mm -hmm. And you start with little commitments, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, make, you know, something doable. I love when you said, Carlin, you're worth a Netflix episode, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll watch those, we'll binge like candy through, through those 30 minute, 50 minute, 60 minute episodes. But we feel like we're being selfish when we take that time for our own pleasure. And we're being self full. Mm -hmm. And so when I take 30 minutes, I know it takes 14 minutes on average to hit my first orgasm. You're going to get to that full body. Most women in 30 minutes, it can take longer, but on average, 30 minutes, one episode, that total reset, that reboot. And you know what? Then I'm a better friend. I'm a better boss. I'm a better mom. I'm a better wife. I'm a better human being because I have all those beautiful pleasure hormones. So it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. But that's why I put together those audio podcasts because you can pop it on and it has you stay with it for mm -hmm. 20 minutes. If you start making time for yourself on a regular basis, it's hard in the beginning and then it gets really easy. Mm -hmm. Put it on the calendar, make it part of your routine. You know, Maybe do it after the kids go to school or, you know, before you make dinner in the evening. I find that mornings are best because we have less in our minds. They're clear. So if you can kind of, I know it's hard, wake up 20 minutes earlier or lock the bathroom door, have a little space, have an extended period for you to get a little me time. And then you go into your day and it's like, okay, now I can take care of all the other people in my life because I've taken care of myself first. I am so much more productive when I've had a morning orgasm because it just kind of clears everything out. So we're headed to Menla in upstate New York, May 6th through 9th. It's a wonderful, immersive four-day experience. We will both be there. Yes. Nude. <laughs>